Hey, what's going on? Good morning from Costa Rica. This is Muriel from the Sunshine Family. And if you are looking for ways on how to make money in Costa Rica and you're curious, Muriel, how do you do it? I'm going to share some heads up in this video, especially on what it is that I do to make my living already for a full eight years online. Uh, I started to build my business online when I still was living in the Netherlands, because that's where I'm coming from. Uh, I'm going to provide lots of tips and especially also the don'ts on how to make money in Costa Rica. Uh, after a little introduction about myself, so you know uh, a little bit more about me and why I'm uh, so driven to make videos about Costa Rica. Here you go. Okay, let me just first summarize some very traditional ways on how to make money in Costa Rica, which I want you to forget immediately as well. And I will tell you in a bit why. It's for example, the traditional businesses, like you start a hair salon, you start a nail salon, uh, you rent out Airbnb uh, or um, bed and breakfast whatsoever. Uh, you're a surf teacher, you're a yoga instructor, uh, you have some kind of expertise and you're literally still are focusing on earning your money, also in Costa Rica, by trading time for money, right? A surf instructor has to work, let's say, for an hour, an hour of surf, surf class, and that for that in exchange, he or she charges a specific amount. That's the trading time for money. Old school business model. Now, probably you're already guessing it. I totally just dropped that old school business model when I started online with building my business. Now, I was a social worker by trade and um, I am used to uh, being told what to do in exchange for a monthly paycheck, right? Uh, however, that never paid off my debts because Dirk got us into a bankruptcy uh, in 2013 with one of his restaurants and got us in $300,000 debt. That made me realize that no matter how many extra jobs uh, I would be finding, how many hours I would work, I would never be able to work uh, enough in one lifetime while still seeing my kids grow up. Because come on, I'm a mom, you know, you have to spend time with your kids. I want to spend time with my kids, but it would not be possible in that business model. So we discovered, and this is my very first heads up, if you want to make money in Costa Rica the way that I do, you do not start a traditional business. I personally do not believe in, in that anymore in order to also live a happy life. Now, I'm not saying working online and having an online business is for everyone uh, because there is a lot of people not, what is this, <laughs> not fit for it. Uh, some people are really, made for being told what to do and let's be real i respect everyone and there should be still people doing specific jobs uh which is fine for me personally i realize that in this world where a lot of technology is taking over um, we all search for our answers information solutions and entertainment online on for example youtube that's probably the way that you found my videos on YouTube because you're somehow are in search for something related to Costa Rica. 
I make videos about Costa Rica, right? So, but if you are looking for information about something online, realize that there's a big, big business opportunity out there. One example is affiliate marketing. A lot of people order stuff online, you know? <laughs> Just let's be real. I don't believe there's anyone who never ordered something online. Or perhaps, I don't know why that would be, but I think that almost everyone has ordered something online. That means that probably someone has earned on you without you uh, realize there was, any dif there was no difference for you. You were buying a product, you were clicking a link, you proceed with the order form, but affiliate marketers are in between the person who is buying and the company that provides a product or service. It's called affiliate marketing. You can all do affiliate marketing. You connect with a company, you start an affiliate contract together. It's very easy to be affiliates. You can be affiliates of <laughs> almost every company, big company has an affiliate or slash partner program. But the thing is a lot of people do not know how to attract strangers to product or services others want to buy. So they make a big mistake to just slam specific offers uh, to strangers, random strangers and their friends and family. And that's not the way that I believe you should practice affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is, if you ask me, only successful. And I can talk for myself because affiliate marketing is providing my income for straight eight years in a row, let's say seven and a half years, um, a real serious numbers. I sometimes wake up with $1,000 commissions, $10,000 commissions per sale because someone buys an exclusive uh, high value digital course or product online where I am in between as affiliate marketer and people find my affiliate link because I provide lots of free value online. I attract people to me. That's what I teach my students as well. So um, you, I literally forbid my students to reach out to random strangers uh, to join specific Facebook groups and start chatting with people in the Facebook groups. That is spam marketing. I think that's more repelling than rejecting. So if you would love to know how I make a living, I make money in Costa Rica online, that is one through affiliate marketing, but not just affiliate marketing. It's high ticket affiliate marketing. It is, I only pre-select to sell other people's product or services that make me per sale a minimum of eight to 800 to $900 and up. And perhaps you think, what the heck is that even possible? Oh, heck yeah. Uh, education, the education niche, uh, you know, coaching niche. There's lots of companies who provide coaching and learning programs, e-learning programs. Even Tony Robbins has affiliate programs, right? Um, and, and, and he charges fifty hundred thousand dollars It's, it's long-term coaching products that he sells. And you can be an affiliate marketer and sell those, but you will never sell anything if you, if you keep on pushing specific offers in the faces of people and showing the name of the company of the product. So if you want to be a successful affiliate marketer the way that I am, and I don't say that to brag, but come on, my life in Costa Rica is possible thanks to my successful affiliate marketing business at the side of some other income stream. So this is my second key, never uh, bet on one income stream. You should always have multiple income streams. And that is also the key on how to make money in Costa Rica online the way that I do is if you know how to attract strangers to you using video marketing, and you can use YouTube, you can use TikTok, but you can also do video on social media platforms such as Instagram and, uh, and, and um, Instagram, Instagram, <laughs> and of course, TikTok, did I already mention that? And uh, there's lots of other platforms that I don't use. Um, you don't have to know everything about every platform or you don't have to know every strategy, but if you want to make money in Costa Rica, because you know, the over the, the, how do you say it? When you sell your house and you're planning on moving to Costa Rica, realize Costa Rica is expensive, right? And the money that you will earn on your house, uh, selling your house will be done one day. So 
I always recommend people, if you're thinking on coming to Costa Rica, to live here and be a uh, Costa Rica expat, you know, build build your business now while you're in preparation of letting go of a life in another country before you move to Costa Rica. My business was already set up and running when I came to Costa Rica. I didn't have a lot of extra cash, but I had a solid income stream. So if you can make a solid income stream every month online, then basically I would say you can move to Costa Rica. Um, but the thing is a lot of people, when they think about how to make money in Costa Rica online, they are not knowing exactly what they're doing. So how can you expect, this is a very important other heads up and a tip, if you do not know exactly what you're doing on how to make money online in Costa Rica, you cannot build your life in Costa Rica with an online business. You have to solidly know, predictively, um, continuously know how to generate income in Costa Rica. Because come on, jobs in Costa Rica, if you ask me, are not an option. It's very hard with permits and working permits and visas and stuff. Because that is the number one why I swear an online business is a great solution for travelers who want to travel through Costa Rica, families who want to move to Costa Rica. But the thing is, people are just messing up with what it takes to build a solid business online. They just try free webinar after free webinar. They think that affiliate marketing is all about, you know, saying this shake, this is a sold, this is sold, but they're just they just showing a product and just think that just weight loss stuff and creams can, can help them build a quit a job kind of income. And I think that you're wrong if you're thinking that if you do not know how to attract strangers and build an email list. And if you don't know how to follow up with prospects, how can they be lifetime clients and here's the thing it's another tip if you want to make money in costa rica the way that i do with an online business you should not focus on making a quick buck and selling weight loss shakies and just be happy with yeah i made a hundred dollars no you should realize that in order to live in costa rica as a family you minimum need five thousand dollars per month really with kids $5,000 is a minimum where I live, at least, if you do not just want to live from paycheck to paycheck and just have to turn every coin before you spend it. That's no fun if you want to live in Costa Rica. So how the heck, perhaps you're thinking, how the heck, Muriel, am I able to wake up with $1,000 commissions like you do? Well, that has to do with applying specific strategies. And if you're thinking, but I'm not tax savvy, how the heck will I be able to build a business online? Then I will just bulldoze or that excuse away. I will just ask you, hey, just realize some specific skill that you were not born with, such as driving a bicycle, driving a car, swimming, uh, playing an instrument. You are not born with skills like that. How did you learn those? Did they fall from the sky? I know the answer, of course, it's no. Someone taught them to you, you practiced a lot. Someone mentored you, you made mistakes, you learned from mistakes, you rinsed and repeat, you did it again. It is the same with the skills that are required to build a business online. Uh, from any place in the world, if you know how to run a business online and make solid income, you can close your laptop where you are right now and open it in Costa Rica. I do not believe anymore in the trading time for money business because it has a big, big ceiling. Jobs are the most unpredictable, uh, risky, money generating income stream in the world. I think if you're afraid of building a business online, you're, so, you're blinded by what's going on. I think you should be very, very worried if you have a job, if you are even hoping for your boss to allow you a remote job so you can be in Costa Rica and earn your money in Costa Rica. I think that's the biggest, biggest scam in the world, a job, really. Perhaps you think, what are you saying now? I think a job is a scam because they keep you broke. You will never be able to earn more than your boss. 
I think it's the biggest pyramid scheme in the world, the job, and someone else is literally owning your time. And I had coworkers, they were amazing and they worked their butts off like I did because I have great work ethics, but I had coworkers who were paid more than I did, than I was paid. And they just did this in their working hours. They were sitting out their working hours and left piles of work for their colleagues. Well, isn't that a scam? Ugh. I believe in the digital age where affiliate marketing is one of the cheapest way to start a business from scratch because you don't need inventory, you don't need um, a building, you don't need staff, you need the skills, you need some technology programs, you need like an autoresponder, um, so that's a tool that sends out emails that you pre-write and that's going to be sent out like every day or every other day, you decide when they're going to be sent out, it's technology that does the work when you're not working basically, right? It's like having a thousands of yous working for you if you take YouTube as your free marketing tool to spread messages that you record once and YouTube does the paying it forward thing when you're offline. It's smart technology of today that allows us, just moms from any part of the world, to build their business without grinding away 15 hours per day. If you use the right tools and systems if you have the right skills. Would you just freaking jump out of a plane with a parachute on your back if no one ever taught you how to use the tools, the, the parachute, and how what's the strategy on when to jump, when not to jump, and how to land? Would you really consider that? Well, I would definitely not. So why would you consider to just... Um, um, to, to, to count on having an online business without having the proper education, mentorship, an explanation, knowing exactly what tools to use and how to use that. I just want to wake you up. Yes, you can build a business online. Heck no, I cannot guarantee that you're gonna be successful, but I do know that a job is not an option in Costa Rica, perhaps for like this 2% of people, but it's a big, risk they can fire you whenever right the time of having a 40 year job plan is over pension pfft, it's a myth so why don't you start today learning what you need to make to build several income streams now let's get back to the things that i do not recommend to make money in costa rica that's the jobs that's the that's the remote jobs from bosses from somewhere else in the world allowing you to work here, but also Airbnb, it's fun, but it's not passive income, right? It's still trading time for money. Renting out is trading time for money. You have to, to meet the people or you have to pay someone to, to welcome uh, guests and to help them find the, the rental if they're lost, whatever. It is not easy made money. If you do not pay someone to do that for you, and Airbnb takes a lot of percentage of your rent, and if you're paying someone to host your rentals, you pay about 20% to pay a super host. So that means you're, you're just paying 40% of your income on the rent to others. So you have to rent out a lot um, in order to make a solid income, and it's hard work. So I would just say, focus on what's possible these days. I'm gonna give you three options on learning what it is that I do to make my money online solidly. So not just because it's I'm lucky, huh, you cannot build a business based on luck. If you would go below my video, you see a description. And in that description is a world of information. There's free big book tips. There is all kinds of info. But what I will do is one share link that leads to a digital first leads to a free course it's called the roadmap to freedom and that takes you to the three things that you need to build your business okay from there you can choose to be a student of my own coaching program that's optional link number two leads to my most favorite orientation course on affiliate marketing. I was once a student of that program. That's the second link below the description. 
it is like a seven dollar training you have nothing to lose and a lot to gain it gives you an overview on how i built my affiliate marketing business and the number three link below my video is how we are building a crypto income a massive passive 100 percent crypto income and all those three options have no limitations in earnings so my dog just hopped on the on the patio here so my camera is shaking so there is way more uh ways to make a living in costa rica i don't apply every way but what i do to make a solid income to make money in costa rica is affiliate marketing um i i sell other people's coaching programs i sell my own products and I invest in crypto programs that I also am an affiliate partner of. So the money grows, that's passive income, the, the, um, the crypto money grows because it's based on the growing system that's totally different than, well, that's not this video about to explain, but if you want to learn more about these specific projects that I'm talking about, just be curious and click that, that link, that third link, okay? And with that, I think I gave you three options to discover what you like best. You want to learn from me? Cool. Click the very first link. You want to learn from an, uh, it's an affiliate a company that I am affiliated with, but I'm also coaching within that company. I make solid income uh, with that, that platform for more than four and a half years. And I'm a coach and I co-work with the owner of the company. So I'm very, very... Um, connected with that company it's not just something that I just out of the blue chose without having any hard connection but the third is really from today it's from about two three years ago when Dirk my husband started to focus on what other ways are there what other income streams can I set up what's possible now that was not possible eight years ago and it's crypto it's NFTs it is define DeFi <laughs> And that is what the third link is all about. So I think there's no time to lose. If you want to make money in Costa Rica and you realize a job is not an option for the reason that I mentioned or because simply you do not have a job in Costa Rica that's paying you solid income, structural. Open up your mind, see what's possible. Allow me to coach you. I do have a coaching program and that's the fourth link. You can just look at my coaching program website and see if it appeals to you if not it's fine by me i am here to inspire you yes i moved to costa rica in 2018 i had a solid business online that gives me the freedom even if i don't like costa rica anymore to close my laptop and leave my kids are able to do um, online school just for two hours per day because i can facilitate helping them with school because we do not have to get out of our house to make our living I think that's the best benefit of all in order to have more time to enjoy Costa Rica, to travel through Costa Rica, even as an expat, it's amazing. And that versus a lot of people that I do know, literally, who have remote jobs in Costa Rica. They work for American or Canadian companies, but they have to grind away. They sometimes sit 12 hours plus behind a computer in a paradise country as Costa Rica. They don't have time to enjoy Costa Rica. So how about just putting your blinders down, putting your guards down and just focus on what is possible to allow me to, to guide you. I will be there every step along your way, whatever choice you make uh, to click and to discover what's behind the four, the four links below my video. And uh, you can count on me. I believe that I am proof enough showing you that even if English is not your first language because I'm Dutch, you can build a solid business online, but you have to know exactly what you're doing. And then it's going to be fine. Then just trust on yourself. And entrepreneurship online and building a business online has no limitations. And truthful, I counted. I have 14 online income streams. 14. And I still work 3 to 5 hours per day. I hope to inspire you, dear people. Costa Rica is beautiful to live. Um, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions, comment below. And of course, be curious, click on those links. I will not eat you up alive. I'm here to guide you behind those links. There's like guidance. Have fun with it. 
There's so much possible. See you soon. Ciao.